Okay, so here in front of us, we have got the refractometer set up so that we can find out the readings. The purpose of this video is to find out what is the extraction yield of the coffee by the recipe and the coffee that you're using. So in front of us, we've got distilled water, which is not in a very, very good bottle. Then we've got a pipette that we'll require to take the espresso out and put it in this. This is the refractometer meter itself which you have to basically, I'll tell you how to use it. Then I've got alcohol swabs with me, which I'll use in between to make sure that there's no coffee left or there is no distilled water left. I'll wipe this lens. Do not press it hard, just wipe it. I've got one coffee, I've got two coffee, second coffee, and these are just the props that we've got. Also, you would require syringes. And along with that, there are particular filters that come. So I'm not using that right now. Usually those filters will eliminate all the solid content in that, the small particles of the solid content in that. And you, what you will get over here is a filtered coffee. So right now we are not using it. It will definitely give a different number. You can use an Aeropress with a paper filter. So you pull out an espresso, put it in the Aeropress, take a paper filter and plunge it down. So the, the extract that you get basically will be a non dissolved there won't be any small solids in that. A challenge in that is that when you pull out an espresso and put in the Aeropress and then plunge it down, there is a little bit more extraction happening, minute extraction happening because there are small particles inside which could just agitate or which could add more pressure uh, to the coffee and extract more. Anyway, so coming back to this, so we've got the coffees over here, which we just gonna take some and put a drop and start. The beauty about it is that uh, a lot of refractometers do have an app with it. So you can just get a chart and you can start seeing where your coffee is on that chart. On the X, on the X axis or on the Y axis, you'll get to see how your coffee is working out. So how do you use this? So first of all, take a alcohol swab and tear it open and you'll have to reuse it again and again. So make sure you just use it and wipe the lens of the refractometer and keep it aside. So now you'll need a pipette and also a bottle of distilled water. Make sure you mark it well or else anybody will drink it. So just take a drop of the distilled water and put it over the refractometer lens, which has been alcohol swapped. And now this is how you basically reset your refractometer. You start it and press zero. So this will reset your refractometer and then after that you can start using it so i've pressed the zero button there you go now next just take a paper napkin and roll it over a little bit and by the edge of it try to take away all the distilled water that's there don't wipe it too hard you will need an alcohol swab again. So you just like rub the lens again and keep it aside. Now is where you take the pipette, take some coffee and make sure you kind of mix it well together. So you, and also you want to cool down the temperature a little bit. So you will need a little bit of coffee and all you have to do is pour it over the lens of the refractometer. Once that's there, you have to press the start button and wait and watch. So what is happening is the light is being passed through the liquid and there's a reading that has come that is 1.33%. So that's your reading. And now again, take the coffee off from the lens. Don't rub it too hard. And then take the alcohol swab and wipe it down again. This is essentially done so that there's no contamination of one coffee or there's no residue left. So to find out the extraction or extract percentage, you have to multiply the brewed coffee with the TDS readings that you've gotten divided by the dose or the coffee grounds that you've used. In this case, we used 220 ml of coffee. The reading was 1.33. So multiply that by 1.33 and divide it by 15. 
So the number that you get is 19.5, which is a good number for extraction. Why did we find this out? Is basically to find out what is the uh, has it what is the strength of the coffee basically. Let's put it that way. And if it is, uh, let's say, if you find the coffee to be having too much of strength, uh, you have to manipulate your input, the dose. Or you play with the variables and then try to get it to the sweetest spot. If it is under extracted, you do the same thing. But these things are left for the next video to come.